Hey everyone, this is the Burning Donut reporting as live as possible in recorded format. I First, I would like to apologize for the lack of uh, steady uploads. My household, my roommates, and I have been uh, suffering with a very tight data cap, a data cap, and um, one of the things that always got us really close was every time I uploaded a video, it seemed to get really, really close. We just recently updated, so I should be able to upload more videos more consistently but we'll see what happens so yeah not only that this has actually been a pretty shitty month for me because uh, a lot of personal shit's been going on uh, uh i just started a new job that has been giving me absolute shit for hours and it's just shit so uh yeah i suppose i could sit here and whine and cry about my situation or i could actually just move on and like you know talk about something actually people fucking want to listen to so the subject I'm going to talk about today. I've been seeing people pose the question of whether or not the furry fandom is prone to drama. And uh, between all the Nazi crap and all of the all of the political stuff and all of the Carol the Wolf shit, a lot of people look at the fandom as basically being a kind of mess right now. Is the furry fandom prone to drama? No. But see, here's the weird thing is that first off, let's look at this from a fandom standpoint. Uh, how many times when you talk about a fandom does like the first worst story you've ever heard pop up into your head about it? Like it, it, if I were to start talking about uh, the Steven Universe fandom, for instance, the first story that's going to pop into your head is, oh, oh my God, do you remember the, that time that like they uh, all the Steven Universe fans uh, fucking harassed an artist into committing suicide because she drew a character wrong or or what about uh what about the voltron fans i mean my god uh there there a, a gay ship wasn't done uh, uh what wasn't 100 percent solidified and the fandom went absolutely nuts and harassed the creator of the series but D it d does that represent the does that basically mean that i think that all voltron and steven universe fans are all fucking hate spewing sjw's who will drive anyone they don't like into committing suicide i i think that's not very fair and another thing is is that like a lot of people like to point out when fandoms they don't like do things that they don't like so I, we live in a weird time right now where the furry fandom is becoming is actually starting to become mainstream and a lot of people and I mean a lot of people do not like this so they want to they, they will see a story that represents a certain uh, a certain misconception in their head and want to hold on to that misconception try to convince everyone around them that that misconception is the reality because in their minds, it kind of is. So for all the Mr. Medicures of the world who are like, oh my God, Carol the Wolf, like every furry does this thing. Oh my God, um, they, there's actually been a lot of like new stuff about the Carol the Wolf incident, which is, uh, <laughs> ooh, oh boy. I, I, I could go on and on and on about, about that, but um, I won't. There is a lot of drama in the furry fandom right now, but here's the funny thing is that if you look outside now i have had to spend a fair amount of time in homeless shelters okay i i as most people know i'm not a terribly rich person there are a lot of times where i struggle financially and uh the area i live in is very hard to actually get housing in and i have had to spend a sometimes months and months at a time in uh, in homeless shelters and uh I gotta tell you, if, if you want to see a microchasm of drama, like, just, these homeless shelters were such a, a good example of how normal people respond to drama. It's so weird. Like, I literally just kind of, like, every time I went outside, I pretty much just, like, hung my head and tried to ignore it because, like, half the time I'm, like, walking through crowds of people that are yelling at each other. Um girls are sleeping with this guy and that guy's sleeping with this girl and and it literally becomes this huge drama thing and i mean even even right now the apartment complex i live in uh we probably had the police called on random people i don't know why probably about five times in the last month every time and when you ride a motorcycle to work and back, uh, it gets kind of awkward because you you pull into the you'll pull in 
and uh, you'll just suddenly see like crowds of people outside yelling and screaming about God only knows what, and you're just kind of awkwardly like, I'm just passing through, just, you know, don't mind me, I'm just going to pull into my parking spot now. And it just literally gets to the point where going outside alone is enough to make you want to just hang your head and just be like okay I, i'm invisible guys don't, don't 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 pay attention to me these are these are quote unquote normal people drama is 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 this weird thing like think about uh think about when you went to high school um but, but think about when you were in school and how many time how many times rumors got flying around like super fast. Think about if you work in an office and you work at any time there's a big group of people who congregate in a certain small area, you start to realize like, holy shit, what is wrong with you people? Why are you so focused on this stuff? Why, why is it every time there's a negative emotion, that's the driving force? And it's so weird because like a lot of times these people are simply trying to make their lives feel important and if if you'll notice uh, a lot of uh, a lot of like mainstream te television basically sells itself on the drama that happens in the show so we are subconsciously being taught that drama is what makes a person's life important. Uh, for, for every reality show where it's like characters just do nothing but yell at each other for every every time on TV uh, a show is sold because of uh, some character backstabbing another character or God only knows what the fuck ever. This is normal people. And you have to understand is that the people who use the internet are people. Okay, so they were they, they take that mentality the, that schoolyard mentality and then put that to their online activity and that's what happens is that yeah, everyone starts seeing these massive arguments taking place and they're like oh boy I want in on that I mean how many times have you seen the uh ha have you seen the comment of ooh grabs popcorn <laughs> is the furry fandom prone to drama mm. Not any more so than any, any other fandom, and not any more so than the normal human race. <laughs> uh, that's that's kind of my theory, anyway. <laughs> so, uh, you know, next time, next time you go outside, uh, uh, next time you think your fandom is a uh, fucking prone to drama, just go outside and then like watch that big group of people suddenly stare at you because they're too busy having an argument and don't want you to get involved. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, thanks for listening, and uh, don't it out. Peace.